So I'm a bit peeved. Hi, I'm King Wilkes, and uh, two nights ago was the uh, Game Awards. And I'm going to explain why I'm peeved. I'm so peeved. In fact, this could explain why Horizon Zero Dawn did not make the awards this year. Even though that Horizon Zero Dawn did release early this year, Hell or Hellblade ended up winning two awards this year. I'm not so sure how or why, but I could come up with an end conclusion. So number one, not only did it release on PlayStation, but it was also released on PC. Now, as we all know, everybody's been fighting about what was the Master Race and why being a PC gamer, such as I, would think that, you know, PC would be the Master Race. Not only does it benefit people over at PlayStation, but it benefits everyone as well. <laughs> Hideo Kojima uh, would have won the awards this year if he was able to release um, Dead Stranded at some point this year. Uh, but the game, of course, is on a uh, development right now. So, being as it may, Hideo is finally taking his time building a great game a good story for this game and so on and so forth but I hope Hideho does not just release the game on PlayStation but on PC as well now this I wouldn't say is remarkable because I do not own this game I was hoping Sony would have uh, done well enough to at least show some perspective of listening to their uh, perspective fans. And uh, I, for one, was one of those perspective fans if I was able to play it. Oops, wrong one. There we go. I'm going to crop this here, here. And then blow it up. So Hellblade ended up being one of the most remarkable games of the year uh, for impact and storytelling. And uh, I couldn't agree more for the time being. Um, Metal Gear Solid was not nominated, and I can see why because Metal Gear Solid was releasing a game full of zombies giving the game no purpose to be called Metal Gear and all the fans that subjected to that game even said the same thing and I don't mean to diss Konami I don't mean to diss any you know titles in this genre but it's it, it's like everybody said Konami was worried about cash flow and they would have made a big difference if they would have listened to Kojima you know his ideas his theories and so on and so forth I mean it's a partnership that works both ways not a one-way street you can't just tell someone what to do without listening to the you know other side of things and uh, uh, for PlayStation players would understand why it is semi bad to just release a game for a console release only this is what happens this game was technically on top of the charts this year for whatever reason PC PlayStation and I'm not so sure but maybe Xbox this game was released on platforms 
that reached so many people. I guess they nominated this somehow and completely defeated Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm a bit out of my breath here by saying this, but maybe it wasn't such a bad idea that you know Sony started listening to their uh, fans and do some fan service. I mean, it wouldn't be such a bad idea if Horizon Zero Dawn met across platform, like Final Fantasy and this guy right here. Well, chick. But you understand the difference. The guy who won the rewards for this and his female companion who played or acted for this part right here would have done the same. Uh, they've released this on many platforms. They've reached a lot of people and they've committed to fan service all over the world. So, like I said, I'm, I'm, I've been a PC gamer for probably about seven to ten years, maybe, um, since 2010, seven years. Um, this. I only know this on PC, okay? I'm not so sure about PlayStation, I'm not so sure about Xbox. But I know this was released on PC. This should be uh, an idea of what was to happen if Sony would have listened to their fans. Now, if it's not too late, maybe they could release it on PC, maybe not. Who knows? Um... For me, it's never too late. I'm happy to play this game, PC or otherwise. Uh, for right now, I don't have the money to even buy PlayStation or PlayStation games. Um, so it's just one of those things, you know. I'm, I'm just really upset that, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn didn't get the credit that we pretty much did. Um, as far as storytelling goes, I was watching, uh, someone's channel who makes movies out of Horizon Zero Dawn, and the storytelling and the mapping, pretty much boundless in my point of view. Uh, but I'm going to remove this now. So, it's like... If I had a chance to play this, I would have had it nominated for much, much more. Um, of course, X Pro Bro Gaming is a platform I've created for people to enjoy themselves and have fun and help each other for whatever reason uh, they're having trouble with. Um, but so far, all I'm seeing as far as gaming goes is people trolling each other uh, but talking about toxicity in uh, it's not a gaming formal was it uh, an in-game platform let's put it that way uh, Warframe mentioned a few times uh, it's kind of losing its toxic toxic players, but yes, there are still some trolls. There are still some people to tell you to bugger off when there shouldn't be buggered. But uh, at some point in time, noticing some changes, there's going to be a lot of games out there that would get some credit, such as Subnautica and Warframe and so many other titles out there <laughs> that I have no idea of as of yet but they're getting up there um, I've seen some games fall I've seen some games rise to the top and I'm pretty much <clears throat> on the sidelines to watch this happen and uh, like I said, I don't have very much people, or very many people to play with. 
So I'm hoping this message gets out so clear as far as, you know, making peace with other players go, you know. Um, it has come to a, uh, a decision that I do have to make a schedule to when I should be playing, how I should be playing, and uh, continuing a good job as I focus, or at least try to focus. X Pro Bro Gaming will also be releasing a uh, podcast soon. I'll have some co-hosts, or co-stars, rather, on the platform, and you guys can hear our opinions and ideas of the uh, situations, of what games we like to play, what got us into them, and our history in gaming. If you'd like to join in on the fun, I hope you... You know, share the magic. That's all I can hope for the best. So, that being said, Horizon Zero Dawn has made a remarkable storyline, has updated its platform for new mapping and new storytelling, as much as Legend of Zelda has for the Breath of the Wild. And, uh, I'm just disappointed that Hellblade won him over because Hellblade actually listened to fan service. Um, but yeah, that's all I can say for now. So, in the future, I hope it all turns out well in 2018, not 1918. What am I thinking? I'm traveling back in time, apparently. And I hope you guys the best. Hopefully we can find a game that's worthy of reward. At least I hope so. Anyway. We'll see. Till then, I'm King Willix, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.